with our information technology of certificate level we have four basic module one is building information system and after building the information system we have to manage the information system and for managing the information system require the information technologies and then business continuity planning and disaster recoveries this paper we have eight learning objects look here building information system is the learning object one managing information system in your syllabus is a learning object two and information technologies is the domain three here learning object three is mean the computer system learning of the four is the software learning of the five is for data resource management a learning of the six is the telecommunication network and others learning subject seven is the data encryption and encrypted related techniques so here learning of three four five six seven within the one module is the information technologies and business continuity planning and disaster recovery is the learning object eight so here total eight learning objects but we have four module and the weight is that as per your syllabus business information system you will get 15 percent marks and basically 15 managing information system also 15 and information technology is 10 marks business continuity planning 10 marks total 50 marks you have so we have seen we have four main topics building information system managing information system information technologies business continuity planning and digest recovery so today we are going for a start learning object one that means building information system is the module one within the building information system we have another 11 soft topics look here so we will cover from module one learning object one building information system is the information system that is what is information system component of an information system types of information system project management methodologies governance structure and project management importance of project oversight and accountability acquisition and development of process of project method is used in system development that means information system best practices for selecting and applying the information system development methodologies based on the project requirement and then implementation control through the development process to ensure that system are designed and build the security function functionality and compliance identifying testing methodologies that derive the testing techniques and tactics through the assessment of functionality performance etc then available tools for overseeing the configuration change and release management so this is the overall item of building information system look here what is information system so we know the information system is a combination of technology people and process that work together to collect process store and disseminate information easily we can say that is the combination of technology people and process is the information system where collect together work together to collect process store and disseminated information look here so information system is the combination of people who are the people you others for example we are the user and also the system engineer programmer all are the people so we got the people for information system then the organization they manage through the organization and require the technology process that means without technology we cannot survive so here if we see the right side is information system is the combination technology people's organization and other things if you see the components of an information system information systems there are various types of component we have for example hardware then software data people process etc so what is hardware hardware means physical device for example server computer network e equipment etc what we can touch it we can see it is the hardware 
and software is the application or operating system. We cannot touch it. We can understand its existence. Without software, hardware cannot work. Data. Data is the raw fact that are proceed into meaningful information. So basically, data are the raw facts that are proceeds into meaningful information. From the data, we'll get the information and from that information, we'll make our knowledge. Then people is the another component of information system. Who are the peoples? That means user who interact with the system, you, I, etc. Such as IT professionals, managers, and end users. They are the people. And the process, procedures like rules for handling data to information flow. So, the process, we know there are different types of process. Look here, if you see, each and every system, they have the process. For example, we have to make the input. We know it, what is input? You will study in your management information. Each and every process, they have the input. So what is the input for the manufacturing organization? Require the raw material, a labor, overhead, raw material, labor and overhead. And throw the input, after processing, we'll get the output. So, this is the process system. Same way, if you think your audit firm, so from the ODT part, we are collecting data, and data it is the input. And after processing, then we'll get the output, that means the draft audit report. So, it's make uh, through the process. So, here the input of the information system, different types of input we have, that can be information can be data, raw material, assembler, control, rules, regulation, standard space, etc. All are the input. And within the system, through the people, using the tools, through the process, we will get the output. So who are the people? That means people input the knowledge, skills, ability. People input the knowledge, skills abilities training motivation ethics etc then we are using the tools that facilitated service hardware software subsystem etc and that make the process precise and tracking then we will get the output so what is the output that through the data we will get the information that can be the data finished data product basically result so is the general system an element of a process or process of a system process that process evaluation framework if you see we have to understand it then have to externalize it then optimize it digitalize it then make it automation and integration then we will get a good result for the process evaluation framework we'll see the types of information system. There are different types of information system we have. Based on their uses, we can name that. For example, transaction processing system is called the TPS. So what is transaction processing system? It's the support, the routine operation of an organization. For example, order processing, payroll, etc. And daily routine activities through the transaction Management Information System, MIS, is provides the middle management with the report and tools to monitor performance of the organization for understanding, decision making, and for the next steps, etc. And then Decision Support System, DSS, is helps in complex decision making using data analysis and models. So there are different types of information system. Also, we have here the executive information system is provide the top executive of an organization with easy access to key performance indicator, for example, KPI and summarize. Expert system, yes, is the human expert solve the specific problem and then enterprise resource planning, ERP, is the integration business uh, process across an organization, for example, SAP, Oracle, etc. And different types of software we have, a sound system also. 
एनओफिसी द ऑपरेशन एंड मैनेजमेंट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम उन द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम दे आर ब्रॉडली टू टाइप्स वन इज ऑपरेशन सपोर्ट सिस्टम एंड अदर मैनेजमेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम थ्रो द ऑपरेशन सपोर्ट सिस्टम सपोर्ट टू द बिजनेस ऑपरेशन वी हैव टू थिंक अबाउट आवर ईच एंड एक ब्री एक्टिविटीज ऑल शुड बी रिलेटेड विद द बिजनेस बिकॉज यू नो ईच एंड एवरी बिजनेस इज डिफरेंट एंड ईच एंड एवरी बिजनेस गोल मिशन विशन इज डिफरेंट सो बेज ऑन दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेट देयर गोल बेज ऑन द रिक्वायरमेंट expectation and based on that they set up their information system as per your requirement so here the operation support system support the operation and that operation support system and different types it can be transaction processing system what we have seen is the processing business transactions and the process control system is the control of industrial process for the big organization each and every process the control through this system an enterprise collaboration system is the team and working group group collaboration so this are the operational support system another one is the specialized processing system based on the requirement of the organization or industry it can be export system it can be knowledge management system it can be strategic information system it can be functional business system and if you see the management support system is the support to the managerial decision making for day to day activity and other decision making top level to other all level because you know in an organization there are different level of management top management middle management and lower management all require the information so support of managerial decision making is the responsibility of management information system so that management is for system pre specified reporting for manager and different types of manager we have in different level based on their requirement mis setup would be that type that mis is the part of information system within the organization and decision support system is the interact decision support and executive information system is the information this is the for the executives for proper guidance for the operation of the organization day to day activities and also it have the specific processing system it is the expert system of maybe at that expert advice for the decision making that knowledge management we can say that kms is the manage organizational knowledge and the strategic information system sis is the support competitive advantages and also the fbs functional business system is the support basic business function in the broad sense information systems are two types operational support system and a management support system and if you see the phase of system development life cycle sdlc is the system development life cycle is a structured approach to building and maintaining information system each and every information system if you want to build you require the develop you require the specific configuration so based on that what we have to do that means identify business needs and system requirement based on the organization mission vision have to identify what type of item we require and what system we require our requirement have to identify it then have to analyze it based on the identification has to analyze how we will analyze we will analyze the study existing system and gather requirement each and every organization they have the initially at one system so if we want to implement a new system or system development uh, new automation and other things required the analysis for a study existing system and have to gather the requirement what we require we need then based on that analysis we have to design it how to design it create system architecture and data database design we have to create system architecture and design that is database design and after designing we have to implement it but before implementing we have to build the system how we will build system by coding 
and then we have to test it so what have to test testing that means that you ensure the system works as expected what we requirement based on the requirement is fulfilled or not we have to test it and then deployment deploy the system into production before deployment we have to test it then deploy for use it and continue require the maintenance maintenance is the ongoing support and update after deployment so basically you can say that system development life cycle is a structure approach to build and maintain information system and for maintaining or develop it we have to require first time planning then analyze then design then implement the test and deploy then maintain it so is the system development life cycle so uh, nowadays is the emerging technologies in business information system we well, know today's business totally depend on automation artificial intelligence blockchain technology big data cyber security etc today's emerging technologies in business information is artificial intelligence so what is artificial intelligence is the machine learning natural language Pasiza, that type of study hardware software other thing we will study in our uh, learning object three to seven so machine learning nature language Pasiza, and data analysis improve decision making and automation through the artificial intelligence and the blockchain technologies is a decentralized laser technology used for secure transactions each and every transaction make a block and all record can be find out is the very much important for that our all record should be kept properly and no that's for destroy of the data another thing internet of things iot is the integration of physical devices for example sensors with information system for real-time data processing we are always using iot for example you are uh, using your mobile for printing you are using your mobile for as a remote for your pc operation or your smart tv operation and lot of things all of each and every item is involved with the iot